and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Professor Lulu Shen. It's going to be our next deck today. This is going to be just kind of a normal Lulu Shen support deck, but with uh, Piltover and Zon as the twist where we're going to be playing Professor Von Yip. That's the Professor part of our deck. Whenever we summon a one-cost ally, grant it plus two, plus two. And so with that, we're going to have the discard package in with Jury Rig and Flame Chompers, and we can discard them with Zonite Urchin or Poro Cannon. Of course, Poro Cannon makes the Daring Poros, which are one mana, one, one elusives. So those will be uh, one mana, three, three elusives if we have a Professor Von Yip in play. A Green Glade Caretaker, also another good one drop. So we have nine uh, one drops in here, which I guess, you know, th these make two different one drops. Um, oh yeah, and then the Urchins. So, you know, got a good amount of one drops in there. Um, then we also have uh, Flame Chompers and Intrepid Mariner, two important cards for this. So we're going to be uh, going with the Elusive uh, a little bit with the Daring Poro and then the Intrepid Mariner being able to support for Elusive. Support, of course, is uh, important for Lulu. And that could be really nice to, so, you know, like Intrepid Mariner can support Lulu because Lulu is the kind of champion that's only a 2-3. So whenever you attack with it, it's very easy for your opponent to block Lulu and uh, kill Lulu by blocking. And so now you can use the Intrepid Mariner to give Lulu Elusive so that then Lulu can support something else and uh, so on. Um, you can also give other things like River Shaper or Shen. Like those are also going to be really good things to give Elusive. Uh, let's see. And the Flame Chompers is awesome with Lulu because you can uh, turn Flame Chompers into a 4-4 Challenger with a Lulu. That's always uh, very good. So yeah, that's what our deck's going to kind of be about. We'll see how it goes. This is going to be, um, you know, a viewer submitted donation deck. They just kind of wanted to see what this deck looked like in Master's Rank. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to see what it looks like in Master's Rank with five games. Here, Harvey. Go. Okay, what do we got? We got a Poro Cannon. We're playing against Zoe. Uh, we'll mulligan the Progress Day and the Poro Cannon, and we're going to keep the Urchin in the Lulu. And looks like we'll pair it with a couple of Green Blade Caretakers. So let's uh, start with the Caretaker. River shape the land. So long, city of progress. I'm just gonna play the Mariner to try to start with the level up for the Lulu. I know another route. I'm gonna get that love that level up going. Water changes but never breaks. Yeah, it's true. Maybe I should have kept the Poro Cannon to try to stomp. Alright, before they can play anything that blocks. Hit him with the River Shaper. The Poro Cannon would uh, be a good thing to stop a Lulu. Shining gifts from the sky. Can certainly assume that that's a fight spell, but none of these things are good. To f okay, never mind. So they just use a life steal. They just wasted a life steal for nothing. I'm gonna say none of these things are that great to fight. Like the river shaper would just draws a card. And... The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Forge ahead. These cards in my hand don't look that great. Adventure. 
Engulf them. Yeah, these... Morning, take you. We currently have a bunch of cards that don't look very good. Bury me at sea. A gift from the river folk. The waters are still. I fight for the fallen. River shape the land and give it life. Hmm. Okay, so this this could be pretty nice. We could do 13 damage to them next turn, depending on what they have. Let's see, three, six, nine. Yeah, maybe. What form will the waters take? Perhaps we should. Pause for thought. Pause for thought. If they can't block an elusive. They have no fight spells and no way to block an elusive. Basically, no spell whatsoever. We win this. That's not very likely, of course, but at least we have a we have a chance. We have a little bit of a chance, and we can we can still defeat one. Like we could defeat one single combat. Like we'd be fine. Like we can still defeat one spell. It's really like sharp sharp sight's probably the worst thing for me to see. Don't make but me like you know, you. this barrier can stop a single combat. All right, so this is so, okay. So that's striking first. Okay. So we still have this as of now. Because that's still ten, you know, ten elusive damage plus our get excited for thirteen. We definitely need to go to attack before an Equinox or a Double Sun card that they could grab from the Sketcher. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Just take the ten. Take the ten. Okay, took the ten. Okay. So now, you know, go for it or wait a turn. Yeah, I guess we have to go for it. Because if they're holding Concerted Strike or Single Combat, they can just attack here first, and then I block... I don't know, maybe we could wait, actually. Waiting could help, because they may t tap out. You know they heal four and they go to seven. I still have all these elusives.
So waiting did not help, though. Their hand was a bunch of Pale Cascades. They got to draw a whole bunch of new cards. And that last one they just drew was the Concerted Strike. They did not have that before. The fate of mortals and spirits okay, so the, the waiting did cost me that one. Uh, we don't know what this other card was. This was the other card that was in their hand still. Yeah, the waiting did... I did all I could. All right, go hard. Very easy to kill the Poros with go hard. Um, I don't know. I kind of like just having a, a one three. That's kind of cool. One threes aren't easy to kill. So long, city of progress. Our deck looks pretty weird. <laughs> it looks pretty weird. The dead don't need riches. Water changes, but never breaks. All hands on deck! Nothing stops adventure. Well, that worked out really well for me how they made the powder keg and they didn't use it right away. That worked out very well for me. Can't always expect it to go that good, but that went very good. Currents pull them down. Stay back. A gift from the river folk. No. Quite right, quite right. Yes, Nash, are you predicted win? You'll fight or you'll swim. Perhaps we should pause for thought. Got the double, double bonus on the Zonite Urchin. Double bonus on the Green Glade Caretaker. Ocean calls. Very risky indeed. Um. I guess I just attack like this. No, let's kill this thing. Their curve is really low. I, I don't really know why they're like, or like how they're not. Yeah, they're still not doing anything. Surprising they're not doing anything. All right, well, they're down to four. You know, they can't ruin Asian right now, so we can play this Lulu. You know, they played the Twisted Fate. All right, here we go.
do we get to survive and win? They're going to be really trying to level up this Twisted Fate, that's for sure. I imagine we're going to win this. So we're going to have you support uh, you for the elusive. And then you support you. And then y'all also attack. And then... Wait. No, you're last. There we go. And I'm just going to give you the challenger. And go to work. I don't know how they stay alive. Unless they suddenly put down like four powder kegs and you know get the red card. Not that wouldn't even do it. I have to put down five five powder kegs on the red card. Okay, bye. Don't make me flood midgify you. All right, back to go hard. I can't imagine that this one's going to work out nearly as well for us as the previous one did, but obviously we're going to try. But that game went very well for us. Good chance I just should, shouldn't even be playing Green Glade Caretaker on turn one. Come to think of it, yeah, see, I wish I would have had the, the Key Guardian on the Caretaker. That would be a 3 2. Let's get to it. Water changes, but never breaks. Yeah, this is Ellie. Ellie the elephant. Two worlds, one balance. As it had to be. That'll make it so they can't kill either of my two better threats. Ooh, they burned a ruination. That's what the pool shark burned. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Perhaps we should pause for thought. Pause for thought. The dead don't need riches. Let's get to it. My life for these lands. Let's go daring for Rose. Build our own three three elusives. Okay, you're at zero. Now, you know, we have Deny and Spirit's Refuge Protection. Our deck's been working out really good. We're like, you know, one, you know, maybe if I would have cast the Get Excited right away, we would have got that first one too, but, you know, we're playing against some good decks and here? some good anti-aggro decks too. So that, that, the box is only killing just this 3-3. Three, three. I think I'm just going to let that happen and just kill that one 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. Well, let's see. If I counter it, they go to 9, and I have the two three threes. 
We can assume like that they're gonna have like go hard on like these things. And so like I could have deny for go hard. Because they may go twist if a red card. You know what? Let's let's just do this. I'll keep my deny for later. Because deny is really valuable. And I'll just use the barrier, because it is deal three. Not just removal, so it is deal three, so I'll, I'll just use that life steal barrier. Healer Nexus for three. out fairly well. There's nothing to fear. If I play progress day and get new one drops, the one drops would cost zero and then they would not get the bonus from Professor Von Yip. I am one with the land. So before this Professor Von Yip dies, we're gonna play this Green Blade Caretaker and get the bonus. Before he would die. I was hoping Go Hards got burned, but those are both good cards to burn. Um. Well, this isn't the glade. This could work out pretty well. We have deny. Wow, and then another get excited. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get this. There we go. Just deny that, that's game. Two and one. The possible of getting more Ionia cards than Wayfinder could be better for the deck. It'd probably be too difficult to get that enough Wayfind or sorry, enough Ionia cards to be able to have Wayfinder, because basically all these one drops are PNZ. And so that sounds like that'd be pretty difficult to achieve. Shen Fiora does not sound like a fun thing to play against. I am hoping. I'm hoping they do not play the card Fiora. That is my current hope. They never play the card Fiora. Ever. That does not mean that we will win. That just means that we will have a much better chance. So please do not cast the card Fiora. Tell you what, I won't cast the card Fiora either. We'll make it fair. We'll make it fair. Neither of us will cast the card Fiora. How about that? I don't really have the great choices. This is kind of a problem with Lulu. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Is that Lulu doesn't attack very well. I mean, so best case scenario, I could have them kill my Intrepid Mariner to support Lulu that supports this thing. Okay. Now, let's see. If I go this route... I guess if I go this route, then... They can have their River Shaper block my 1-3 and get a free spell. That's not fantastic. I could, I could of course, go this route. And then they kill the... You know, the 3-2 kills the Lulu, but then they don't get to block and get a free spell. <laughs> Is that better? If I go this route. No closer. Oh. 
I'm not giving them a free spell, but... Lulu doesn't... Oh, Mia, why can't I have you? You would have been great with Lulu. The balance requires a watchful eye. It must be done. Immediately. A brief detour. A gift from the river folk. With the, drawing that flame chompers, I really regret losing the Lulu. Nature blesses her followers. We each defend our brethren. My father's blade. Nature blesses her followers. I liked it better whenever we were the one playing River Shaper. That was a better time. Ocean calls. That was a better, simpler time. Understood. Currents pull them down. Strike, we will reform. I will take that trade. There is no dispute. I will take that trade as well. So like the thing is like we're we're ahead here on board, but I have jury rig and flame chompers, two cards that are basically nothing, and they have seven cards in hand. So we're gonna lose this, but Fior Shen is Fior Shen's amazing against small units. Like this is this is just a terrible matchup. But you know, we'll, we'll lose this game, that's okay. Very bad matchup. Water changes but never breaks. Gotten completely punished for, uh, also for trading my Lulu earlier, with these flame chompers. Like they're the, yeah. Like this, this did not go well. Oh my gosh, I pulled the wrong thing. I meant to pull that 5-5. Five five. I just did that really quickly. I pulled the wrong one. Obviously, I wanted to pull the one that, that killed the Shen. Man, and we were just drawing terribly, too. Man, I just pulled the wrong one. I did that too fast. Well, our chance, our chance to win this went from, like, 5% to, like, no percent. <laughs> With that, and we're at like we're at like one percent. We speak with blades. Yeah, they still just have a million cards, and you know all the cards in Fiora Shen are great. They they only have good cards in their deck. Let them eat souls. So we can't really beat anything, and and they have seven cards, so <laughs> Follow the tracks. not going to be easy. Form will the waters take? Perhaps we should pause for thought. I think my my prayer of winning this is drawing uh, something that makes elusives. So like the the zero mana card you discard to make some elusives. No. Yeah, we were could have maybe been three zero before that, but yeah, that's a that's a like Fiora Shen just doesn't lose to to small units. Not possible for for them to. 
Okay, Aurelian Soul Shivana. So we have both of these four drops. Um, you know, Grand Plaza, again, is going to be something else. Like, that kind of stuff. Like, these challenge, like challengers. Like, I just can't, I don't, <laughs> I just can't deal with challengers. That's not what our, our deck is not built on, on beating challenge, like, large challengers. That's both of our losses right now. Challengers are a problem. The bad part about this hand is I don't do anything before turn four. But both Shen and Von Yip are very powerful. I could have mulliganed Shen. I was thinking about it, of just like keeping Von Yip with Jury Rig. But it's, it's hard to mulligan Shen, one of the better cards in our deck. But maybe I should have. Maybe that's something that I need to like be disciplined and, and mulligan the Shen. When our hand's not a Shen hand. Cause like that's always like that's pretty nice what we have there. Like I'm really glad no Grand Plaza last turn. That's you know very important for us that we didn't you know did not have to face the Grand Plaza last turn. Perhaps we should pause for thought. Stop with these challengers. I don't like challengers. So I guess I'm just playing three daring poros. I don't think I replace any of these with another Daring Poro. It certainly felt like they have single combat that they've been like trying to decide whether or not to cast single combat this whole time. Same thing. I'm surprised they killed the Lulu. The Lulu was like the worst card in play for me. I think. I think it was the worst card in play for me. I am more than I seem. Man, what are we drawing? We need to draw some spells. Get excited, deny, progress day, spirits refuge. Those six cards. They are nothing. I could have River Shaper block. Because, like, they both die, but, you know, it's just a, it's a jury rig. I don't really care about that jury rig. Ugh. I should have had jury rig block and drawn a spell. Or not Jerry Rick, sorry, River Shaper. I should have River Shaper block. Draw a spell. 
sweep them away. So I go. More sounds like this. Don't touch that. I find them unworthy. So this this does open me up to judgment. Um, but like if I only attack with these things. If I only attack with these things, then we are then like one sharp sight or one sweet. Like if they have a sharp sight or single combat, they you know stay alive. If they don't have sharp sight, single combat, or judgment, we're gonna win either way. Alright, so we're back. So that's Professor Lulu Shen. Pretty impressed. We actually got a winning record in Masters rank with it, and we even faced uh, Fiora Shen, which is just a, a horrible matchup, and so that was one of our losses. The other loss, I made a judgment call to wait with the Get Excited, and it, it didn't work out. We don't know for sure if I would have cast the Get Excited right away if it would have worked, but you know, maybe, you know, there's a, from what it looked like they were playing, there was a good chance that, that it could have worked if I would have cast, you know, they're at three life. And I was deciding when to cast the Get Excited. If I would have cast it immediately, I think it, it may have worked. So, um, you know, there was a good chance that we could have maybe gotten a 4-1 even with facing the Fiora Shen deck. So I was very, like, we had a lot of good variants in those games. I was very impressed. Professor Von Yip plus uh, Poro Cannon and Daring Poros was awesome. Getting 3-3 three, three elusives. That's how we were winning a lot of games with just a bunch of elusives. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was, that was probably the most... Um, that was probably the yeah. That's probably the part of our deck that was like the most impressive. And then we had like Intrep Intrep and Mariner making some elusives. Lulu doing its thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Our deck. I guess River Shaper was the other best card besides the Professor Von Yip and the the Daring Poros. Then River Shaper was like the next best part of our deck of like you know drawing lots of spells with River Shapers. Um, but yeah, our deck just kind of worked. It just kind of <laughs> kind of got there, right? Like it was just like how'd you get there? I don't know. But you know, a lot of it was like those those three three elusives and it just kind of got there <laughs> so there we go all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there hopefully y'all enjoyed watching some professor von yip lulu shen something a little different uh yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed this one but that's all i got here so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video